landscape painting really comes to its own in the Dutch Republic. And this is due to land reclamation projects. The Dutch developed a very personal attachment to the land. The land was also low quality, so small landowners developed with an attachment that would not be present under a feudal system. Basically, they are reclaiming their own land from the sea. That takes a lot of labor. They're going to have an attachment to that land, and that's going to be something that we're going to see in their landscape paintings. And the fact that it's low quality land, that it takes a lot of effort to turn it into fertile farmland is also going to play a role because after all, this is land that had been under salt water. So it's not going to be all that great to start with. It takes more effort, more labor to get it going. So enter Albert Koop. And his work resulted from a deep understanding of the Dutch terrain as well as the psychology of the landowners. He's an early specialist in landscape painting, and he creates a distant view of Dordek, which I'm probably mispronouncing. Now, unlike past landscapes, this one is particular. This one depicts a very specific place, a very specific piece of land. We can identify the church and there's a reason for this. That land is so important to the landowner that they want a painting of it. Just like still life is a painting of someone's stuff and portrait is a painting of someone's relative or someone of importance. Well, it's the same thing here. I want a picture of my land. I want to remember that thing that I labored over and developed with my own two hands. The figures and the cows reflect the Dutch dairy industry. Very important here because the dairy industry develops since grasses are easier to grow than crops. So you start out as a dairy farm. Growing grasses, the cows will feed on that grass, they're pasture raised, and then you of course collect the dairy. This allows you to reuse the cow over and over and over again rather than a meat industry where you're going to, well, eventually eat the cow. So they're doing this for very specific reasons, and we're getting a sense of what it is to be a Dutch landowner at the time. By the way, in Wisconsin, we are the dairy state for much the same reason. We started out, in fact, cities like Delafield used to be called Heopolis as a wheat center, but there was a disease that spread through the state, and that resulted in a lot of farmers moving over to dairy cattle, which again can eat the grasses that don't tend to get diseases. So, very something that we see in modern day. The credibility of his work rests entirely on the identifiable rendering achieved through an astonishing attention to detail. And as we look at the piece, what you'll see is that sense of detail. The hills, the town, the windmill in the background. But also, he's got a beautiful understanding of light. We can almost pick out the exact time of day, and in fact, interestingly, he's put the sun just off the canvas. So we get that sense of very strong directionality into the work. The people working the farm are probably actually people who would have worked the farm. This is as much portrait as it is landscape. After all, it's nothing more than a visual memory. The cows are probably actually cows that would have been found there. And even the brush in the foreground is probably there for a specific purpose. You can identify exactly the hill that this was set on. And this may be the best view from this piece of land. And therefore, Coop is going to choose this particular point to paint.